Hello everyone, welcome back to Hourglass, where talent gets noticed and the show must go on. Please join me in celebrating the extraordinary journey of our talented cast, where every performance is a masterpiece and every scene is filled with magic. Let's celebrate their dedication, creativity, and passion for their profession. Charlie Sheen's life has been a wild ride of talent, charm, and unforgettable moments in entertainment. From his iconic roles in movies like Platoon and Wall Street to his beloved character, Charlie Harper, in Two and a Half Men, he's captured our hearts. But beyond the glitz and glam, Charlie's story is one of resilience. As the son of Hollywood legend Martin Sheen, he's faced his share of personal battles, including a diagnosis of HIV. Charlie's brave choice to go public with his illness sparked important conversations about HIV awareness and advocacy. However, his journey hasn't been without controversy. Accusations arose, alleging that he didn't disclose his HIV status to partners, leading to legal battles and settlements. Despite his claims of taking precautions, the controversy surrounding his situation is undeniable. But amidst the chaos, Charlie's disclosure likely encouraged more people to get tested for HIV shedding light on the importance of awareness and prevention. In the midst of the storm, there's a silver lining, a reminder of the power of openness and education in combating HIV. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Michael J. Fox, the legendary star of the Back to the Future trilogy, isn't just a Hollywood icon, he's a symbol of resilience and hope. Behind the scenes, he's been waging a courageous battle against Parkinson's disease since 1991 when he got the shocking diagnosis at just 29. But here's the kicker, he didn't keep it under wraps. Nope, he stepped into the spotlight in 1998, showing guts and grit by sharing his struggle with the world. Instead of letting Parkinson's call the shots, Fox grabbed the bull by the horn. He launched the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research in 2000, turning his personal fight into a global mission. Parkinson's ain't no joke. It throws all kinds of curveballs from shaky hands to speech troubles. But Fox ain't backing down. He's not just an actor. He's a champion for Parkinson's research. The guys out there pounding the pavement, spreading the word and raising funds. And you know what? He's still killing it on screen too. Despite the odds, He's back in action, reminding us all that with a little grit and grace, anything's possible. Morgan Freeman is the epitome of a Hollywood legend, with a career that spans decades and accolades, including an Oscar and two Golden Globes. But beyond the glitz and glamour, he's faced a personal battle with fibromyalgia since a car accident in 2008. This condition has brought chronic pain and nerve damage, particularly affecting his left hand. Despite surgeries, Freeman relies on a compression glove just to get through the day, battling constant discomfort. Fibromyalgia has robbed him of beloved pastimes like sailing and flying, leaving even everyday activities like driving a challenge. Yet, Freeman refuses to let pain define him. He's discovered new passions like golf and long walks, showing remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. His story is a testament to finding purpose and joy despite life's hurdles. Additionally, Freeman advocates for cannabidiol as a pain management tool, emphasizing its role in providing both physical and mental relief. By embracing this natural remedy, he continues to navigate life with grace and determination, Jack Nicholson, a true Hollywood legend with an astounding 12 Oscar nominations, holds the title for the most nominated male actor in history. But beyond the glitz and glam, his life took a fascinating turn. Once known for his wild parties and romantic escapades, Jack surprised everyone in the late 2000s by stepping away from the spotlight. Speculations swirled about his sudden disappearance, with some suggesting health concerns like dementia. 
However, Jack clarified in 2013 that his mind was as sharp as ever. Instead, he chose to retreat from the hustle and bustle of public life, focusing on quality over quantity in his career. Nowadays, Jack leads a quiet life in his Beverly Hills mansion, rarely venturing out. While some worry he may become reclusive, we can only hope he's finding peace and contentment in this new chapter. Whether he's facing health challenges or simply enjoying a well-deserved break, Jack's legacy as a Hollywood icon remains intact. Catherine Zeta-Jones has been open about her struggle with bipolar 2 disorder, a mental health condition characterized by intense mood swings between depression and hippomania. At the age of 41, she found herself navigating this unpredictable terrain while also supporting her husband, the iconic Michael Douglas, through his battle with stage 4 throat cancer. During her husband's challenging cancer treatments, Zeta-Jones felt overwhelmed and helpless, especially with the added responsibility of caring for their children. She chose to keep her feelings private, but the strain eventually took a toll on her mental well-being. In April 2011, she bravely decided to seek solace in a mental health facility for five days, recognizing the importance of self-care before returning to work. Witnessing her struggle was heart-wrenching, but Zeta Jones came to understand that reaching out for help was essential. In 2013, she sought professional assistance again, demonstrating her commitment to managing her health. Her journey serves as a reminder that mental health is an ongoing process, and seeking help when needed is a sign of strength and wisdom. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two, I will change it if I know you hate it. When you see Gina Rodriguez, it's hard to miss her electrifying smile, it's practically a permanent fixture on her face. But behind that infectious grin lies a hidden battle with Hashimoto's disease, a thyroid condition. Famous for her role in Jane the Virgin, Gina is not just a talented actress, but also an inspiration. In 2018, she bravely opened up about her struggles with the wide-ranging symptoms of Hashimoto's disease. In an industry obsessed with appearance and size, Gina realized she needed to prioritize her own well-being. Despite her fighter spirit, she understood the importance of seeking help when needed. Hashimoto's disease affects everyone differently, and for Gina, it brought metabolic issues and weight fluctuations, along with panic attacks and anxiety. While there's no cure, medications can help manage symptoms. Yet, emotional support is equally crucial. Gina's husband, Jolo Cicero, has been her rock, reminding her of her self-worth and helping her through tough times. Together, they navigate the challenges of Hashimoto's, showing that support and love can make all the difference in facing health battles. If you've seen The Matrix or The Lord of the Rings trilogies, then you're familiar with Hugo Weaving, the Australian actor known for his powerful presence on screen. But behind the scenes, he's been facing epilepsy since his teenage years. Epilepsy, a mysterious condition with uncertain causes, has been a part of Hugo's life for over three decades. Despite the challenges, Hugo hasn't let epilepsy hold him back. He's been on medication for years and has used his platform to raise awareness about epilepsy worldwide. His positive attitude and determination have been unwavering, even in the face of seizures. And after years of hope, Hugo's perseverance paid off. He hasn't had a seizure in quite some time. Living with epilepsy has presented its obstacles, like not being able to drive, but Hugo remains active and engaged in his professional pursuits. He's a true inspiration, showing that with resilience and determination, one can overcome any health challenge. Hugo Weaving's journey serves as a beacon of hope for those battling epilepsy and other health issues. Daisy Ridley, the talented English actress, known for her role as Rey in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, has a story that extends beyond the big screen. At just 16, she shared her health struggles on Instagram, 
revealing diagnoses of endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. Endometriosis involves uterine tissue growing outside the uterus, causing severe pain, while PCOS is a hormonal disorder with symptoms like irregular periods and excess male hormones. These conditions can lead to serious complications. Despite facing these challenges, Daisy has become a symbol of strength and advocacy. She uses her platform to encourage others to prioritize their health and seek help when needed. Our bodies are invaluable, and taking care of them is crucial. Similarly, Chris Hemsworth, another beloved actor, recently stunned fans by revealing a heightened risk of Alzheimer's disease due to genetic factors. While not retiring, he's taking a break to focus on his well-being. Their stories remind us of the importance of prioritizing health and seeking support when facing health challenges. With courage and resilience, it's possible to navigate even the toughest situations. In October 2018, Selma Blair shared a life-changing update with her fans on Instagram. She had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis MS. This autoimmune condition causes the body to attack its own nerves, leading to nerve damage in the brain and spinal cord. Selma courageously spoke about the daily hurdles she faces due to MS from physical challenges like falls and difficulty holding onto objects, to cognitive struggles such as memory fog. The condition can be exhausting painful, and disrupt bodily functions like bladder and bowel control. Additionally, mobility issues, vision problems, and cognitive changes are common. Despite these formidable obstacles, Selma Blair refuses to let her diagnosis overshadow her spirit. After years of uncertainty, receiving a diagnosis in her late 40s was both surprising and validating. It finally provided answers to the symptoms she had been grappling with for decades. Since revealing her diagnosis, Selma has become a symbol of resilience and advocacy. She's been seen stylishly using walking sticks at events and grace the cover of British Vogue while holding a cane. Through her actions, Selma shines a light on the importance of accessibility for disabled individuals in the fashion industry. Her bravery and determination inspire us all. Pete Davidson, the funny man we all love, has been dealing with Crohn's disease since his teenage years. This condition messes with the digestive tract, causing inflammation and a slew of unpleasant symptoms like stomach pain, diarrhea, and fatigue. Left untreated, it can lead to serious complications like ulcers and even colon cancer. But Pete's not one to let anything hold him back. Despite the challenges, he's found ways to manage his symptoms and keep pursuing his dreams in the entertainment world. However, there were tough times when just getting out of bed was a struggle. Interestingly, Pete has found relief in marijuana, which he openly talks about as his go-to treatment for easing his symptoms. He's even joked that he owes some of his performances on Saturday Night Live to its help in managing his stomach pain. Of course, there are other treatments available for Crohn's disease, like steroids and immunosuppressants, which can help slow down its progression. Pete's journey highlights the importance of finding effective ways to deal with chronic conditions and not letting them define your life. Melanie Griffith's journey reveals that even Hollywood royalty faces hurdles in healthcare. Despite her fame and success, doctors initially brushed off her health concerns due to their busy schedules. In a brave moment during a Women's Brain Health Initiative panel in 2017, Griffith shocked the audience by revealing her epilepsy diagnosis. This glamorous actress had silently battled seizures for years without proper attention or care. One particularly frightening episode occurred at the Cannes Film Festival, where she experienced multiple seizures including a tonic-clonic seizure, which causes loss of consciousness and intense muscle contractions. Fortunately, Melanie's condition has improved significantly over time, and she hasn't had a seizure in quite a while. She credits her progress to medication, particularly El Mikal, and major life changes like her divorce from Antonio Banderas in 2015. While it's unclear if she still experiences epilepsy symptoms, one thing is certain, 
Melanie's decision to speak openly about her illness has raised crucial awareness about epilepsy. Sarah Hyland, widely recognized for her role as Haley Dunphy in Modern Family, has been quietly battling kidney failure for years, undergoing two kidney transplants along with extensive dialysis and medication. Despite her health challenges, she remains a beacon of resilience. In a candid interview with Self Magazine in 2018, Sarah revealed her struggle with kidney dysplasia, a condition she was born with. Sadly, her kidneys never developed properly, necessitating lifelong medical interventions to prevent total failure. At just 21, she faced the need for a transplant. In a heartwarming display of love, Sarah's father, Edward James Highland, volunteered to donate his kidney. For five years, his organs sustained her, enabling her to lead a fulfilling life. However, complications arose in 2017, leading to organ rejection and a precarious health situation. During this challenging time, dialysis became her lifeline as she awaited another transplant. Remarkably, her younger brother, Ian Highland, stepped forward as a donor, offering Sarah a third chance at life. By the end of 2017, the successful transplant occurred, thanks to her brother's selfless act. Nick Cannon, known for his multifaceted talents in acting, comedy, and music, faced a life-altering diagnosis in 2012 that shook him to the core. Hospitalized for fatigue, he received the devastating news of having lupus, a condition that wreaks havoc on the immune system and led to kidney failure. Despite not outwardly appearing sick, Nick grapples daily with the challenges lupus presents. He candidly shared moments of waking up unable to move, a frightening and frustrating experience. However, he's found ways to manage the symptoms, making significant lifestyle changes like prioritizing healthier eating habits and ensuring ample sleep. Rather than letting lupus define him, Nick has emerged as a passionate advocate for lupus awareness. Through initiatives like his YouTube series, Incredible Health Hustle, he offers glimpses into his daily life with the disease. Collaborating with organizations like the Lupus Foundation of America, he spearheads charity endeavors to support fellow lupus warriors. For Nick, being the face of lupus is more than a role, it's a profound responsibility. He aims to inspire others battling the condition assuring them they're not alone and instilling hope that they too can triumph over adversity. Anthony Anderson, the talented actor known for his comedic prowess, faced a surprising health challenge, type 2 diabetes. Diagnosed in 2002, it was a real eye-opener. For those unfamiliar, diabetes affects roughly 1 in 10 people globally with type 2 being the most prevalent form. It's all about cells responding oddly to insulin, making sugar absorption tough. To compensate, our bodies churn out more insulin, throwing blood sugar levels off kilter. Serious complications like heart disease and vision issues can follow. But Anthony didn't let diabetes win. He took control, adopting a consistent regimen. Gym sessions became his jam walking, jogging, and treadmill runs were his go-tos. A personal trainer joined the squad for extra motivation. And food? He overhauled his diet, opting for healthier fare and ditching the junk. Anthony's story underscores the importance of healthier living. It's not just about managing diabetes, but thriving despite it. Back in the 1980s, Kathleen Turner was a powerhouse in Hollywood, winning hearts and awards left and right. But then, she seemed to disappear from the scene. What happened? Turns out, Kathleen was grappling with rheumatoid arthritis, a brutal autoimmune disease that made even basic tasks excruciating. Imagine trying to navigate stairs by shuffling on your butt because walking was too painful. That was Kathleen's reality. And while some might have thought her condition wasn't a big deal, it was anything but. It affected every aspect of her life, making acting a real challenge. But Kathleen wasn't one to give in. 
When a doctor predicted she'd be in a wheelchair for life, she showed him the door. She kept her struggles private, fearing it would hurt her career. Rumors about her drinking didn't help, even though it was just a way to cope with the pain. In 2002, she faced another battle and checked into rehab. It was a wake-up call, and she gained a new perspective. These days, she's found a balance, enjoying life with friends and the occasional cocktail, but no longer letting alcohol control her. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you!